Hi, student. I got your message about um, ifs not being of use in Solver, and uh, glad to help educate you on that. Here we see the solution I sent you before. Notice, as you pointed out, the population centers are a sum of ifs. If um, basically a potential site in the area is turned on, it's a 1, else a 0. Here we have everything set up as um, zeros for the different um, uh, potential firehouses. And we're going to take a look at Solver. Their solver. And some important things. Notice here the um, solving me method is evolutionary. Now, evolutionary is a powerful method based on um, biological evolution where consider the um, p potential set of uh, firehouses as like a vector of zeros and ones. And there's um, then 2 to the number of firehouses, which is like 20, 2 to the 20 number of vectors that are possible. And they're all evaluated according to the uh, objective function that we want to minimize. Uh, the cells we're changing here are the potential firehouse locations. So I'll check and make sure that's correct. That's all the locations. The constraints are that the um, binary for the... Um, firehouse cells. Every firehouse is either one or zero for built or not built. Notice the population centers are greater than or equal to one. If, if a population center is covered by more than one firehouse, that's fine. But um, uh, it's got to be covered by at least one. And then another important option here is um, make sure this checkbox ignore integer constraints is not checked. I've seen situations where by default it is checked and that can cause um, problems. Notice this is all methods. Uh, for the evolutionary, um, uh, notice um, we have here mutation rate, maximum time without an improvement, and convergence. And your system, you might want to play with those. Uh, you can make convergence smaller, larger, probably if you're having trouble getting a solution, make it um, um, larger. And then that'd be like um, counting as a success larger. It shouldn't make a, a difference because we have everything set up as binary. Uh, the mutation rate, so imagine one of those vectors of possible firehouse solutions and then the system is going to try another one and see if it comes up with um, a better value for the objective function. Um, this is the rate of that change, and you can um, um, monkey with that. Maybe it, increasing it might help. Uh, population size is the batch of um, sort of populations that are being evolved against, and you can increase or decrease those. Increasing it would probably help a solution go faster. And this max time without improvement is in um, seconds. And um, that's when it would give up, and you might want to increase that. But these are the values I have, and then I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to say Solve, and um, we see here it's solving. Um, and then notice well, what it says here is it cannot improve the current solution. All constraints are satisfied. So we say OK. And see the solutions. Uh, the solution is there. We have um, uh, that one. And we've got... Um, down there, that guy up in the corner, and this guy down here, uh, which are the four that we expect. And that's what I have there on, or 
response um, two with the if. Uh, then I made another response to here, this time max. Um, you didn't want to use the ifs, that's fine, we can work without using the ifs. Here again, everything is um, set to zero. All zeros all around. Got zeros all around. Zeros all around there. Um, but now for the um, population centers that we're going to consider covering, I'm doing a max. So look at this one is the um, max of R5 and O7. So um, there's R5 and there's O7. And those things are going to be either 0 or 1. If any one of them is a 1, then I'd get a 1 in my population center. If they were all zeros, the maximum would be 0, and I would get a 0. So going to um, Solver, I um, have the same exact constraints. So again, um, you know, double check those. Um, the changing the variable cells is going to should be the list of the 20 potential firehouse locations. Again, uh, my firehouse locations have to be binary, and um, my population centers have to be greater than or equal to 1. So that would exclude 0 where it's not included. Let me move this time the, um, into frame here. Notice down here in Excel we have the um, status bar. Right now it just says ready. And I am going to go back to my uh, solver there and press solve and watch what's happening here um, down here we see the evolutionary algorithm at work the uh, incumbent sub problems trial solutions and objective cell that's the um, value of the cells the objective cell we actually know the ideal solution is four and notice it actually got to that right away it got um, um, a four right away and um, so this incumbent, like an incumbent um, elected official up for an election, um, has a value of 4. And what it's trying to do is find if it can get any solution better than that 4 and like kick out the incumbent. So, of course, if it could find a way to build it with 3, that would be better. And again, it says solver can improve the current solution. All constraints are satisfied. Say OK. And notice our zeros have been changed. In the familiar spots, there's one. Uh, and there's that guy. And then we should have that one up in the corner. Yep, there he is. And the fourth one is over here. There's the fourth one. So you see solver did work with the if. It also worked with um, the maxes and comes up with the exact same solution. So solver, so some of the um, gist of what I'm trying to get across here, solver is a flexible tool and the setup um, is not limited really when you use the evolutionary algorithm on the um, type of Excel formulas that you could use and this is completely valid and um, for binary solutions this is actually really a good idea the one or zero approach so things to double check in the solution before you turn it again as I said in the written solution before make sure that everything is listed correctly whether you use the if approach or the max approach make sure for instance the that say here is this one's using the max and it's saying the max of um, uh, D5, E7, uh, J6 over here, and F11. Those are the four firehouses that could potentially cover the population center. Um, make sure that the, it is those four, all those four, and no additional ones that have been missed. You already have in the, in the um, stuff that you provided me a couple different approaches of ways to take that me myself, what I actually did is I um, printed this out and made a shape on um, paper that um, when I center it on a population center, it's um, eight out in all direction, in this rectilinear direction. And then I found the ones that were relevant and I set up my formulas that way. So I hope this helps and good luck in all your studies.